फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न मल्टी स्पान ए एल सी टू जीरो फोर सिक्स लेंथ काउंटर मीटर कंप्लीट इंस्टॉलेशन इन विच वी लर्न हाउ टू डू सेंसर कनेक्शन इन दिस काउंटर मीटर एंड आल्सो लर्न पैरामीटर सेटिंग फॉर दिस काउंटर मीटर एंड लर्न हाउ टू सेट डाया एंड अदर पैरामीटर फॉर दिस काउंटर मीटर सो लेट स्टार्ट वीडियो एंड इन दिस काउंटर मीटर वी हैव टोटल थ्री डिस्प्ले ओके इन फर्स्ट डिस्प्ले वी कैन सी हाउ मच मीटर प्रोडक्शन कम फ्रॉम दिस काउंटर मीटर सो टोटल प्रोडक्शन कैन सी इन फर्स्ट डिस्प्ले इन सेकेंड डिस्प्ले वी कैन सी मीटर पर मिनट दैट मीन्स इन वन मिनट हाउ मच मीटर प्रोडक्शन कम कैन कम सो इन मीटर पर मिनट सेटिंग इन सेकेंड डिस्प्ले and third display for reset okay if total meter productions come which we set in this counter meter so reset indicator will blink okay so total we have three display first key for set or enter okay for setting any of the parameters or enter any of the parameter need to press set or enter key second key for batch okay and third key for total production total production we can see by pressing this total key and last key is for reset okay if total production is come so we can reset this counter meter manually okay now let's learn a control wiring connection for this length counter meter so in this length counter meter we need to provide 230 volt ac supply for counter meter display and also we have one relay common no and nc okay so also we are doing connections for this relay okay so first we connect this line wire and connect one connector for relay okay so line wire connects in line terminal first terminal okay and for relay connection we connect this line wire to common okay so in common first we connect a line connection okay and for neutral we need to connect a neutral wire in two number in this video we will learn relay logic also okay so input power supply connection is done for sensor connection so this is pnp type connection and in this sensor we have total three wire okay red wire for positive power supply okay and blue wire for negative power supply and black wire is reference of this sensor okay so how to do sensor connection so first we connect positive red wire in plus 12 volt supply okay so plus supply comes connect in 8 number point zero or ground supply connects in 11 number point blue wire and because sensor is p and p type so reference wire connect in 10 number point for p and p terminal okay if you have npn type sensor so need to connect in 9 number terminal okay and for resetting remotely okay if you want to reset meter remotely for any other place okay so need to do connections for remote resetting so for resetting remotely we need to connect one connector from six number point okay if length comes so you need to reset this counter meter so if you want to reset remotely from any other place so you can do connection for one push button okay so we connect this connector to no push button and output of this no push button connect in seven number terminal okay if we press this push button so our length counter meter will reset okay so for remotely reset we need to press this no push button and meter will reset i hope you clear the concept of connection now for parameter setting we just set 5 meter length in this counter meter first you can see we set 5 meter length if 5 meter length come then meter will reset automatically okay and we set 5 second for resetting automatically okay if 5 meter productions come so meter you can see r indicator is blinking and after 5 second meter will reset okay one more time if 5 meter length come so r indicator will blink okay you can see 5 meter length come r indicator is blinking we can set automatically resetting for 5 second after 5 second meter will reset automatically okay so now for parameter setting need to press set or enter key for 3 second now you can see production setting we set 5 meter okay 
after 5 meter production meter will reset automatically okay you can set any of the production which you required now see relay logic okay if you want to start any other device or any other component if productions come okay after 5 meter you want to start any other device so do connection with ano terminal okay if production come so ano supply start any other device which we required okay and for time if you want to reset your meter automatically so you can set desired time which you required for now we set 10 second okay if our motor productions come meter productions come so after 10 second meter will reset automatically you don't need to reset manually okay okay now if you want to reset your meter manually okay so for manually resetting you need to set zero okay so for time we set time zero second if you set zero second in this counter meter so after production meter will reset automatically you can reset this counter meter by pressing reset key with this meter or also you can reset this counter meter with by pressing this push button okay for remotely reset we connect one push button i hope you clear the concept of timer okay now next parameter is for dia which is most important so dia for now we said 35.37 now how it calculates first see okay so if you have one roller okay and we connect to one bolt which sensor sense continuously okay so you need to enter this dia of roller okay so first take this dia of roller in mm okay so first for example we take this dia for 20 mm first measure your roller dia in mm for example we measure this dia 20 mm so how this calculations will calculate let's see okay so first we set this dia 20 mm now we will learn how counter meter count this length and how meter per minute reading will we get okay so for now we set 20 okay our dia you can measure your dia practically and set okay for now we set dia 20 mm now let's see calculations now for one revolution in one revolution how much productions will come if roller rotate one time and sensors in one time so how much productions will come so formula is dia multiply by 3.14 okay so dia is 20 and multiply by 3.14 so 62.8 mm okay if our roller rotate one time and sensor sense one time so in one revolution we will get 62.8 mm production okay now for calculate total length how much length comes so for total length formula is same just need to multiply number of revolution how much time roller will rotate okay so in one revolution we get now number of revolutions for total length how much length productions come with this counter meter so multiply by number of revolution okay so for example we take 50 revolution in 50 revolution how much productions will come so formula is 3.14 20 is roller dia okay if revolutions is 50 okay and divide by 1000 why take 1000 understand okay as we know in 1 meter we have 1000 mm okay so 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm so divide by 1000 because we take reading in meter okay so for meter we divide by 1000 so in 50 revolution how much production will we get so it is 3.14 meter okay if our roller rotate 50 time then we will get 3.14 meter okay and dia is 20 mm okay if your dia is different so you can calculate with this calculation i hope you clear the concept okay now see total meters per minute reading how which we get meter per minute reading so formula is very simple first we need to know ppr pulse per revolutions okay in one revolutions how much time sensor will sense in some places we connected two or three bolt for accuracy for now we set one bolt which sensor will sense 
so ppr we need to set one revolutions per minute okay sensor sends only one time so formula is very simple first we need to know rpm in one minute how much time ruler will rotate okay so in one minute how much time ruler will rotate first we need to know and formula is very simple 3.14 dia of ruler multiply by rpm okay if for example if our ruler rotate 100 time in one minute for example we take you can take any your reading okay if our ruler rotate 100 times in one minute so set 100 1004 meter and ppr if revolutions per minute if one okay if sensor sends only one time in one revolution so our reading is 6.28 meter in one minute okay if our sensor sends one time in one revolution if your sensor sends two or three times so just to set your value and you can calculate total length per minute okay in some other places we can we connect multiple bolts for accuracy okay i hope you clear the concept of how meter per minute value we get okay and in this counter meter if power supply cut so our value will save in this counter meter and if power supply comes then our meter will save our reading i hope you clear the concept if power supply cut so reading will not zero it will start when power cut and it will start after that i hope you clear the concept now next parameter which is for pulse okay what it that means for pulse okay if you are sense sense multiple time now let's say calculations for this pulse if your sense sensor sends multiple time if your reading is 1500 time in one minute so you need to set slow if your sensor sensing speed is very high till 5000 so set medium if sensor sensing speed is very high till 15000 so set fast for now we set slow because our sensor sensing range is very slow our machine speed is very slow so we said slow for sensor sensing pulse okay now some other parameters which is now for you can see dia and pulse after it we have dp which is for decimal point okay if you required accuracy in meter so you can set your desired decimal point okay for accuracy you can increase your decimal values for point okay so you can set decimal point as you required accuracy and also you can set count direction okay you can set count direction in increment and level by setting up and you can set count direction in decremental level by setting down okay first we set down okay now if our sensor will sense so value will decrease till zero okay if our sensor sends so value will show in decremental level by setting down okay now if we want to set incremental level so if first we need to set up after up now if sensor will sense so value will increase in incremental level okay so you can set count direction by up or setting down i hope you clear the concept now next parameter for ppr pulse per revolutions in one revolution how much time sensor will sense so you can say it in uh, some other places for accuracy in one revolution sensor sends two or three times so we connect to two or three bolt for sensing sensor for now we set only one bolt in one revolution for sensing sensor so in ppr we will set one okay if you connect to two or three bolt for sensing sensor so you can set your ppr okay for now we set only one bolt so we set ppr value is one i hope you clear the concept of how to install multi-span lc2046 length counter meter and how to do proper setting if you like this video please press like button for today's enough we'll meet in next video